are on our very last day of our Easter tier tray. So I have made lots of carrots, lots of pillows, <laughs> lots of flowers, but we are going to do the little bunny. So this is my tiny little bunny that I did. This is kind of what we're aiming for, but I am actually going to be making the big one. So you guys can watch, you can sew along, and we're just gonna find out to see exactly how big is the big one, which is the eight by 12 hoop that you're gonna need, and let's start. So if you're following along, we are on page 29 inside your book. And let me see, I got my hoops hooped. So this one's for the ears. This one's gonna be for the actual body of the little bunny basket. They are hooped with light mesh cutaway. And let's start. So I got my fabrics all laid out. I'll just put him up there so he can you can learn something new today. Okay, so I'm going to start with sewing the handles for the basket. So it's a one and a half by four and a half, and you're just going to iron it like you would bias tape, and then oh, thread my needle. And we're just going to stitch down on each side. done that one you're just going to go over to the other side and you're just going to stitch that side down too and again you have two handles for your little basket So you set your little straps to the side where you don't lose them. The instructions call for a four by four hoop, but I'm gonna just use the five by seven hoop. And that's it. We're just gonna get started with that. So this is just gonna show us where to place our fabric. So take your fabric and when you got your And yes, right side up. The next one though, right, it's good sides touching. So when we look at it, it's wrong side up. And then we just touch that down. So that's it for the ears. Let's see if I can't. There's my little tool. Just gonna take it out of the hoop. And we just cut it out. You do have to turn this around, so don't get too close to your stitches.
so to make it a little bit easier on yourself do notch now the first set of ears that I did I did notch a little bit too close it was showing so I'm I'm being a little bit more careful to actually leave a little bit more there because it did take a lot to pull these turn these around So this is what we have and after you turn it the right way out that's what we're aiming for Go press it. So, got my big hoop in. It is a cutaway. We have our file pulled up. So that's what you're going to be pulling up and the first step is easy you just stitch the placement line for your batting so our placement is stitched out and we're just gonna put your batting right on top So just trim your batting close to your stitch line. So after you've trimmed, you're just going to stitch your fabric placement line. Take your fabric and we cover it. Nothing to do here, but just press start again. Okay, so after the quilting, stitch out the cute little bunny face. But also after that, you're gonna stitch in two little lines. That's for your handle. So you see your outer ridge, there's your fold. Make it so your outer ridge is on the outside. So you're just gonna tape that down on there tape that one down on that line put it back in the machine and we're just going to stitch that down So now we got our second set of handles stitched down. Well, our markers, where it's gonna stitch down. So again, tape it down. Remember, bridge was on the outside. So 
we got our spot stitched for where our ears are gonna go. Get my basket. My ears have gone fuzzy on me. So I'm just gonna clean those up a little bit. So I wanna show you something before I go further. So this is what the bunny looks like if your ears are on the wrong way. This is what your bunny looks like if your ears are on the right way. I did stuff them and do a little uh, hand sewing in the center just to make them a little bit more exciting. You don't have to do that. That's, that's not part of her instructions. So we want to fold them in. It says lay them this way. Fold them in and then flip it over and tape it down. So let's do that one more time. And then fold that in. We're going to flip it over and tape it down. This one's trying to, to undo itself. It's not allowed to. It has to stay down. Okay, we're going to put it back in and stitch that down. So this is what we have so far. I did take my tape out. Now we're going to cover. And it's just gonna sew a straight line all the way down. So that's it for embroidery in the hoop. This line you see here is going to be the line that we actually cut out on. This line right here is a seam line, so don't cut that. I'm cutting right on that is actually called our our trim line so if it's a trim line in your instructions you're actually trimming right on that line So you see, I trimmed out right on those stitches, but I did not cut my seam line. And that is what you have next. So we're gonna go press it, but we are gonna press it so that way this comes down. might be wondering what are my bunny ears and my handles doing. So I had pushed them up so that way when we iron this down it helps the handles and the ears to stand up nicely. So let's go throw a straight stitch right across to hold that. The machine over to sewing and I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to do one stitch all the way down. Okay. 
So then we're going to fold it over. And now I want to show you something. This is our valley. We are not sewing there yet. We are going to sew here, here, and here. This is our valley. We are not sewing there. We are sewing here and we are sewing there. So reinforce your stitches because we do have to turn this inside out and you do not want your seams to pop. So there's our project. We have sewn here and here. This part is still open, right? So it's kind of like a, like a sock, like a sleeve. But now you're going to take it and you're gonna collapse it like that. So now we can see our valley that we left open is what we're gonna sew. And we're gonna do the same for both sides. We're gonna line up our seams and now we're gonna sew the valley. thing for this side. So this is what you should be seeing. So we're going to turn it this way and this is where our little gap is where we can turn it right side out. And there's a reason why I want you to pull that so it's in front of you. Because you're actually going to take it and fold it in half with the hole in the front and then we're just going to sew the top together. So now 
you're just going to put your fingers inside that opening and you are going to have to turn this one right side out. If you can get a hold of the ears and the handles, get them to help you a little bit. Right now it just looks like a fabric mess, but trust me, it's, it's going to be cute. You're going to like it. And this is the big basket. You can see what it looks like when you do the little basket. Almost there, almost there. Push it in. Ta-da, there's the magic. See, now you got a lined basket. You can hand sew the inside little seam just to close it. But that's our little bunny basket. So that's the big one. That's the little one. They are super cute. Let's keep them from falling over. Pulls <laughs> a perfect spool of thread. Okay, we did it. Our cute little Easter tear tray is all done. And this is both of the bunny baskets side by side. So you get to choose which size it is that you want to do. I am so glad you guys were able to sew along with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this. But there is a prize that we are going to be doing. I am going to give you guys a week to do it. But under this video on Facebook in the comments, post a picture of your project that you did from the bonus CD. You got little frogs, you got cute little chicks. So stitch one of those out, post a picture, and your name will go into the draw. And we are going to give away what is the prize, what makes all this worth it, your thread kit for the next Kimberbell event, which is our day at the spa. If you win, you will get free thread with that event. Thank you so much for sewing along. I hope you guys had fun. Thank you, bye.